Mm-hmm. Hello. Good evening. <coughs> I am so sorry for being so inconsistent with posting. My voice has it once again left me. I suppose that's better than Phoebe leaving me, right? These next few videos are going to be a little bit different. They're not going to have the Patreon tributes in them just because they're going to be so short. And not everybody cares about all of the parts of good luck. So why not just make one small video, easy to edit, quickly, quick, <coughs> quickly done. Just put it in a playlist and the people will find the ones that they want. Yep. Let us begin with Lockstar. And into good luck we go. Lockstar will be up at the top there. A tap on that icon will open up the application. Up in the top right, you'll find a switch. You must turn the switch on to enable it. Next, you will be forced to create a style for yourself. The left and right buttons on either side of the screen will cycle you through the different options. And one weird thing that I noticed is that the app shortcuts, the ones that you can swipe to open up from the lock screen, only give you one at a time inside this app. There is no way or no style to get a second one on the other side, which is kind of a bummer. The three options that you move around are obviously the clock, position, the notification, thingy dauber, and the swipeable shortcut. <clears throat> they give you a nice selection of different wallpapers to choose from here. I ran across one that looked like it had some gold dust on it. I think, yeah, that's the one right there. And then I picked the one on the right just because the colors are nice and it's mild and it's pretty. Next comes the clock section in the middle. Tapping on that will give you access to a plethora of different clock styles. A lot of them we've seen since the S8, including the one that Samsung tried to stack on top of each other, going, hey guys, this might look cool. Yeah, nobody liked that one. If you're a fan of analog clocks, excuse me, if you're a fan of analog clocks, there are plenty of those for you. And there's even a set of clocks that look like automobile gauges. I saw this and I thought this was awesome. Stuart Glover in particular would like this, <laughs> if he doesn't already know about it. As the scrolling continues, there's even a bicycle one, there's a couple of other car themed ones, including a little dial right there that has the minute but not the hour, interestingly enough. And as we continue, we see some text-based clocks, which are also pretty nifty for those that like the ah, for those that like the reading thing. <laughs> <coughs> Tapping on item visibility then allows you to tell the phone which parts to display and which parts not to display. If the ones are highlighted in blue, that means they're on. If they're I, if the that, if they're in gray, that means they're off. <clears throat> that part's pretty self-explanatory. And here's something you can just tailor to your liking. However, the lock status bar, if you tap on that, it does not show anything, and I'm not sure why. But other than that... Oh, and don't hit back or else you'll have to go in <laughs> and design the whole thing over again. <laughs> Instead, simply hit save. And then, it'll apply the style. And then if you tap on unlock type, you can then dictate whether it's a swipe, swipe up, swipe down, swipe left, or swipe right that unlocks your phone. However, since it's all omnidirectional to start off with, I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, eh, like why? Tapping on app shortcut integration will enable you to choose how the app shortcuts are triggered, whether it's Samsung's default, touch, or double tap. You can tell it to use the system clock in case you wanted to change everything but the system clock. Also, you can do the same thing with keep system wallpaper. And if you tap on system clock, it just shows you all the ones that are included in the phone. It does not show, it's, it's the same thing that you would have seen if you were to go to lock screen in the phone's settings themselves and picked one. Thank you for watching and the rest of the videos will be available soon and stay beaming.